share my excitement. So anyway, here it is. I, I'm sitting at the bar, and I order the drink, and the guy says, that's a good one. And I look, and it's Matthew Perry. Oh. Mm. So it's Matthew Perry from Friends, and he is sitting. It's a small bar in the very back of this roped-off area that has uh, a bunch of... Um, uh, seats with sunken seats, a, a, a bunch of booths, so these people can all be in their private little areas. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting at the bar, and he's got his three guys that I think are, are his friends, his buddies. Right. So he's down there. So he looks at my media tag, mm -hmm. which you, you're forced to wear wherever you go down Everywhere. there to get in right. somewhere. And Unless you're on a major TV show. It's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But all the schmucks like me right. are wearing this, and it's a big, gigantic thing. We all had to wear them. Yeah, they're, 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 they're huge. Yeah. And it says right on it, Michael Sores. You got my real name. And also in very, you know, not as big letters as the Super Bowl, but uh, on the bottom of it, not good for game. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. So, it was so, the first time they've done that, which I thought is kind of a drag. Yeah, that hurts. But he looks over at me and he goes, so, media, Mike Source, you're in the media. And I said, hey, and so are you. <laughs> and then there was a moment, uh -huh. and and then he said, so, where are you from? And I said, I'm from D.C. He said, what do you do? I said, I, I, I do a stupid little radio show. He said, hey, I used to do a stupid little TV show. <laughs> <laughs> These are all direct quotes from right. this guy. Yeah. And then he said, what do you think of Houston? And I had had enough to drink. And I was just giddy enough just to be, you know, I mean, I don't, 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 I don't mean to sound like a faggot because I'm not a gigantic Pretty cool, though. fan of this guy, but yeah. he was cool and not being a jerk, and yeah. I was talking to him. So he, I figured, what I got to lose? What do you think of Houston? I said, I think it sucks. <laughs> I said, it's real nice if you want a uh, Paco Corallo a taco because they're on every block, and if you want a Jack in the Box or a Goodyear tire, sure. I said, I think this city sucks. And he said to the bartender, and then he says, Whatever this man is having, give him another one. <laughs> and then he moved his he moved his stool. Right. He moved, he moved his stool. Right. Over so that he said to his friend, Brian, I remember that Brian, move over, move over. So he moves moves over to sit down next to me mm -hmm. and starts talking to me and says, So, what do you think? And I said, What do you think about what? What do you think about tonight? We gonna have a good time tonight. He's like, <laughs> he was he was playing with me. Obviously, right. he's playing with me like I'm some schmuck fan, which which I am. And and then he said, Are, "Is your show on in Los Angeles?" Mm -hmm. And I said, "No, and it will never be on in Los Angeles." <laughs> and and he said, "Well, I uh, I," and then he laughed. He said, "He he said I probably would." He went and they went. <laughs> I'm lying. I wouldn't listen to your show. <laughs> and then I said. Well, that's pretty good because up until like the last month, I've really not watched your show either. <laughs> and he was cool with that. He right, said, "Right." He said, "Oh, whatever." I said, "Now I do like. I know it's not you, but I like the how you do it." Oh my God! Oh. You told me like Joey. Oh. Oh, yeah, I did. What the hell? Oh, he laughed at me. Right. He laughed at me, and then and then he said. So, uh, what do you do on your show? You just talk about, because I, I said, well, you know, it's a lifestyle show. And it was, I was getting to do, like, he said, do you ever talk about uh, about friends? I said, yeah, we, we, we talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't watch it. I don't watch it a lot. So, I kind of lead the discussion, and then we don't really talk about it. And then, this is turning around. I said, but I did see you in the whole nine yards with, with Bruce Willis. And this is true. I did see it. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a funny movie. I said, there's that scene where you... Running into the sliding glass door, I said, "That's that's comedy." Mm -hmm. And and then he said, "You're asking me. You saw that movie. You liked it." I said, "Hell yes." He said, "You know, we made a sequel." I said, "I think I had read that like six months mm -hmm. ago." He said, "It's tested so poorly that they pushed it back. <laughs> it was supposed to be released uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm -hmm. Right. Then it was supposed to come out the first part of the year. Not now it'll well. be out." Sometime when there's a lull in, in February or, or March or whatever. Something to look forward to. So he, he was pretty funny. And I saw the guy, his NBC liaison slash security guy, Goon, uh, was standing over his left shoulder. And I could see this guy. He had an earpiece in mm -hmm. and was standing about 10 feet behind right. Matthew Perry. And I see him, Matthew Perry turns around, and I see the guy, the goon, I see him point at me. Like, 
what he's inferring is... Is he bothering you? Right. Ah. And, and Matthew Perry just goes like this. Doesn't think I see it. He just goes... He, he shrugs and goes... Shakes his head no. Right. A little bit. So, subtly. I turn to did, him and I... Well, when you put your arm around him, did uh, the uh, guard come any closer? No, what I did is I turned and I said to him, hey... Thanks for shaking off the sign. <laughs> and he laughed. Right. Then he really laughed. He said, you totally did not know that I was shaking off the sign. I said, that's your boy right back there. That's your goon. I said, your goon, I saw your goon point at me, and then you said no, that it was okay. He's okay. And, uh -huh. then, and then he said, my goon, hey, come here, Anthony. Yeah. And this guy who's like eight feet tall comes <laughs> over, and he goes, Anthony. My goon, I'd like you to meet Mike. He's in the media. You know, and the guy shakes my hand. The guy's got like a gigantic hand. Yeah. Right. Twice, the, twice the size. Of, my hands are like Macaulay Culkin's hands <laughs> compared to this guy. And Matthew Perry was having a, a really good time busting my ball saying, so he says you're a Did goon. Did I uh, take any offen offense at the fact that you called him a goon? No, because he, I, because he was bought and paid for by Matthew Perry. So right. At one point. So he was a security guy. Yeah, when, when Matthew Perry was done, he said, that's fine. You can leave us now. <laughs> and the guy goes, yes, sir. And he just walks Steps ten, back, yeah. ten feet away. Huh. So then we had a second drink, and we talked about sports, and we talked about all kinds of uh, stuff. And then I said to him, he got up to leave, and he said, well, Mike Source, it's been a pleasure meeting you. And I said, I'm going to say this on my radio show on, on Monday. You're really not a dick. He said, but you're a dick. <laughs> and then his friends all laughed because that's what you know. Yeah, but but also it was kind of funny because he right. was calling me a dick. And then I said, you know what I should do? I really should probably give you the number of the radio show so that you can. And I said, nah, you know, for, forget it. This would be like the thing when I was calling my wife. Right. I said, I don't even know what the number to the radio show is. And he said, as he was walking away, he grabbed my hand, gave me the the put both hands on my hand, and said, uh -huh. and I want you to know. Even if you gave me the number, I would absolutely never call your show. Wow. <laughs> so, but it's been great seeing you. Right. Bye-bye. And, and I did manage some paparazzi guy came by. And got a picture. And I got a picture of me with him. Oh, Excellent. good. Good, good, and, good. And Jimmy Fallon. So I guess I'll have that at some point in the future. Now, how long would you say that you and Matthew Perry spent together? The couple of drinks. There. Buzz, I did yeah. time it. Yeah, well, of course. Of course I would. you did. It's all I about would. quantity. Sure. Ten minutes. Ten minutes with Matthew Perry. That's pretty Ten impressive. Ten quality minutes with Matthew Perry. Yeah. And uh, I... I uh, I guess I I did okay. He didn't he didn't walk away. Oh, and like I, right, and I felt like a big shot. You know, because cool. there were other people that were looking at me. You got to kind of pretend that it's not a big deal. But I was thinking that the people that were looking at me were thinking that I was like one of his schmuck friends who was obviously there just to to right suck his hind, which I was. Uh, we, and and I pushed it at the very end when I. So said, you're saying you you did do that and it tasted good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he got up to leave and I said, "Where are you going now?" And it, and. <laughs> funny because he didn't say it meanly mm -hmm. he said it in a funny way i right. said where are you going now and he said somewhere you'll never go <laughs> and wow. i said where are you going he said bye oh that's funny wow. took, took off and walked away so now so he was just playful but he was having a good time and he was yeah. a nice guy yes and not a dick not a dick good. at all matthew matthew perry good to hear didn't appear to be you know uh and i, I had to check right away i called like i said uh tried to call my wife I call, you know when you're in that situation God, I'm such an idiot in that situation. I wanted to call everybody to say, <laughs> I'm here with Matthew Perry. Matthew cool. Perry. What I did, and actually the move with, with Frida ended up being fine because he was talking to his friends for a second. So I picked up the phone to get my wife on the cell and I go, hello, hello. And the whole thing with Carrie. And I said, oh, well, I'm sitting here with Matthew. And he Matt. caught you? I said, yeah, I said, I'm sitting here with Matthew Perry. But uh, never mind. Click. And I hung up the phone. And he said, who is that? I said, I just called my wife. And he said, Dude, it's a quote. Dude, that is so pathetic. Like, what did you expect? He said, what did you expect that I would do? I said, I guess pick up the phone and say hi to my, my wife. Right. And he said, I could be any guy. I could just be some drunk guy <laughs> just saying hello. What's that going to mean? And, and, and that was a refreshing, you know, and it really, funny attitude. Well, he, he knows that because he's probably been asked many times yeah. to do that. He's a funny guy. So anyway, uh, that was that. That was that. That's pretty impressive. And, um, he is a big deal. And then uh, at, at, the, at the very end, uh, that was it. 
That was it. There was so, there was something. Did else. you linger at the party after your fr- your new boyfriend left? <laughs> yes, I yes I <laughs> yes I did. And for the longest time, and so you got a picture with Matthew Perry and Jimmy Fallon. Yes, because Jimmy Fallon was standing there, and there was a guy from NBC mm-hmm. who said, uh, "Let's get some shots of Matthew." Right. Some shots of his mother. Be come on, let's get some shots, Matthew. Right. And then they, he said, "Hey, Mike from the media, come here, get your picture." So right, I, I didn't speak a word to Jimmy Fallon, sure. but there, there's a picture making it making its way to me. And I hung out there for a... We'll look for you in the tabloids. For yeah. a couple hours I hung out there. And, and, and listen, I know I sound like a, uh, just like a schmuck, but, uh, you know, it's cool. It is cool. It doesn't it's happen cool every meet, day. Cool in this meet, culture of celebrity that we all live in, it's fun to hang out with a celebrity. Cool to meet someone who's who's not a dick. And at one point I did even say to him, how how is your show going to end? Can you tell me anything? Right. Yeah. And he's, he said, I thought you didn't watch the show. I said, well, I watch it sometimes. How's it going to end? He said, who cares? And that was really his attitude. Right. Seemed to be carefree. Well, he's got all that money in the bank. Who cares? Why not? What the hell? But he was not there uh, with a with a uh, with a girl, right? With a girl, hmm. with a girl, wasn't it? And he's kind of a ladies' man, right? Is I he married? Don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Ladies' man. No. Here's the last thing that I heard on on the way out. This is what I hesitated to say. As I was as I left. Uh, the doorman said to me, are you going with the Perry party? Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, no, I was just I just ran into him. He said, oh, I, and Mike, you're going to be glad that you recognize his name. I didn't know that they had such an establishment in the fine town of Houston, but I'm not uh-huh. surprised. I said, oh, he went to the gold club. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're having a special party, party for to, him tonight out at, at the gold club. Just, just for him, huh? Yeah, which cool. is, uh, you know, you know, it's the NBA players go to that place all the time. Yeah, and sure. a strip yep. club where you get the handies and everything. Didn't, didn't know they had one in Houston. I did not know that either, but wow. apparently that's where Matthew Perry had to get out to go to. Wowzy woo woo. He had to leave. I wrote it down. The M Bar. Uh-huh. That was the name of the place. The M Bar. The M Bar. In Houston, Texas. Nice. Nice, okay. nice party. So that's that. Lifestyles uh, of the rich and famous. Wow. Yeah, I like meeting a, a, a famous dude. Uh, 